Hey everyone, it's Shaber 1000. Look who I got with me. Monkey! Another episode of Late Night in the Shop. Special guest Monkey 1000, check her out. Today we're going to pack some bearings, okay? Well, tonight. Let's get started, shall we? Okay. Okay guys, here's what we got. We got a seal, we got our two bearings, we got our castle nut. They call it a castle nut because it's shaped like what, monkey? Castle? Yes. Next time answer, don't answer it in a question. <laughs> it looks like a crown. It's a castle nut. Anyway, there's our washer. So it's going to go like this. I have a new one of these. I've got a whole bunch of these. This one may be actually too big. So. We'll see once we get out there. Again, our bearings. We got our grease. Multi duty complex. All right. That'll be fine for what we're doing. Got our little hammer to tap our seal in. Our races are good. That's the race inside there, that shiny part right there. What this is going to do, it's going to set in here like this. But we have to, we have to pack these first. That's why I've got the gloves over there. Has nothing to do with monkey. But, as always, I'll show you the time. It is 12.14. So it's technically, yeah, it's technically Saturday, what, the 19th? 12.14. So we are after midnight. We're doing this late night. <clears throat> now, what I gotta do first I gotta put these gloves on. Monkey's sitting over here. I don't know what she's doing. Alright. I got my gloves here. Because this gets messy, guys. Right, monkey? Yeah. I was gonna have her pick up a tube of grease because my grease guns are out of grease. And I wouldn't have to pack these because I got the bearing buddies out there. And they go in here and then you just put your gun on there. And you just shoot it full of grease until you see this uh, the inside start coming out. But then you know it's packed and what that actually goes like this. And then what that does is push the grease back through into the rear bearing. So, let's see. Make sure that's right. looks good um, I better go better go check them just to make sure okay guys we're scrapping this idea for tonight and I'll show you why this is the seal I need okay this is the seal he sent he, he I was supposed to get two of these he sent this one and he sent this one can you guys see a difference there Look at that. Surely you can tell a difference. That's the one I need. $31 here. For four parts, I can only use one. Yeah. I worked there for two fucking years. That's the way I get treated. This one, well, you can probably see right there, but this one. L44643. Get the camera to focus in on that. There it is. This one. And of course, they're they're China. They're not Timkins for some reason. You're dealing with China shit. This one is L44649. Both of them. So I can only use one part. So tomorrow, I gotta go try to find me another bearing. This one's still good. I gotta go find me another bearing. And then we gotta take find some time to get these taken back and get our money back for them. Thirty-one dollars right there. And I can only use a four-dollar part out of them. What the fuck? Yeah. 
That's bullshit. So, set this over here, set this over here. Well, scrap that idea. We're going to work with this. Okay, so there's Monkey. We got this thing, all right? This is medical equipment. Pitch it. IV pole, okay? Let's get this out of here. It's like a little mini tripod, right? Pretty cool, huh? Am I backed all the way out? Yeah. But what we're going to do, what I want to do is... Watch this thing, it's brand new, it probably won't work. Okay. See? Like a little mini mini tripod okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece off here this curly Q thing and I'm gonna put this nut and bolt down in its place okay so that way we can use this for a light or you know small camera or whatever we want to use it for the first thing I gotta do is I gotta cut this end off here. We're gonna stick that bolt down in there. I'm, I'm gonna mix up some uh, JB Weld. I'm just gonna JB Weld it in there and it should be fine. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off right here. Well, I don't think I can pry that out of there. It'd be nice if I could. If we could just if we could just pry this out of here it'd be ideal <clears throat> but I don't think we can because these what they do is they just punch in and they grab that piece of plastic there so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off with this little tool here it's just aluminum so I think they're supposed to throw these away when they're done with them, right, hon? Yeah, they keep them until they have Yeah, to use and then they it. throw them away, right? Mm -hmm. That's why it's called a pitch it. You just pitch it when you're done with it. Mm -hmm. But I can make shit out of this. She said, You want that pole? I was like, What pole? She's like, There's a pole. I said, I don't know. Let me see it. She showed me the box. I was like, I don't know. Throw it out there. I can always use a piece of pipe or something, you know. And I come out and looked at it. I was like, Hey. <sighs> My mind said, "Ching! I got an idea." And there it goes. Shit! So there we are. Nice, smooth, straight cut. And monkey's trying to get it for me. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to. Oh, that's almost perfect. Look at that. See that? Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Kind of cramped spaces here, but well, you get the idea, right? Now I'll just crimp that in as close as I can. I'll show you. Here in just a second. Let me back out a little bit. Alright, now I'm gonna get trusty vice grips here. Alright, I'm gonna hold this bolt. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Hey, hon, you wanna hold that bolt for me? Just like that? No, you're going to... <laughs> okay, when I go down, you don't go down, okay? I'm trying to line it up. It's got to be even like that. Okay? All right? Hello? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, as you can see, that, that was a fail. So I've got an idea. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this washer on here. It's not going to stay on. It's just temporary. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put that on there like that. And then, you can set that in there like that. See what I'm saying? I may not, if I do it that way, I may not even have to crimp it. So, I would like to crimp it a little bit. Um, let's try to crimp it a tiny bit. At least it'll be a little straighter. Okay, that'll, I think that's going to work. Oh yeah, so that's going to be nice. Okay, so I'm actually holding that up as you can see, so that's pretty good. So yeah, that's going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up our, our JB Well. What a night. Monkey's got a project going on out in the, out in the kitchen. Oh, fuck me. Ooh. It's not going to be the prettiest, but, you know, it'll be fine. It's homemade, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix up our stuff. And we're going to do that Oops, right over here. Whoops. I'm going to get something to to mix that stuff on I'll be right back with you okay guys I didn't hit record but this is what I done I, I put her it's not funny monkey she's over here laughing yeah I put our JV weld I mixed it up I even read all the instructions to you um, it sets up in four to six hours that means you can work with it um, to actually put it to use it wants you to wait 24 hours before you actually use it so four to six hours you can start sanding this stuff okay so we're gonna put this on here all right just like that the thing of it is this is what we're gonna do like this light if I want to use this light I can screw this light on here and it'll be like a little tripod this is going to go on of course before the light Okay, like that, and then you screw your light on, and then you just tighten that up finger tight or whatever. Because it's just going to be sitting still. So there's that. Alright guys, so that's what we're doing there. Now, I'm going to spin you around. I don't want to glue my vice grips to that. Well, yeah, if I don't get most of it cleaned off, yeah, I will. <laughs> but, as I said, the popsicle stick, we took a break because the monkey had to eat a chocolate popsicle so I could use that stick. So, anyway, there's that. Now, we're going to spin you around. We're going to shoot the ship for a minute. Hang tight. There's what it looks like stretched out. So, it goes up high. That's, you know... I'm 5'7", so that's oh, way, well over 6 foot. So, probably 6.5 feet tall with it stretched out. So there's what it's going to, that's what it's going to do. So tomorrow I'll screw the light on. Looks somewhat straight. Ain't going to be perfect, but that's alright. Okay guys, so that's our late night in the shop. It's kind of screwed up. Anyway, I got, this is what it's, you know, going to be like right here. So, of course, without the vice grips on, battery's out because damn battery's dead for some reason. I only used the damn light once since I charged it last time, so but I can't send this battery. I can't send the light back because it came with the camera. But anyway, so you get the idea. That's, that's what it's going to be. 
just a light stand or for a light camera like her camera she could use it on here but we got plenty of tripods for that but so this will work great for for a light or live streaming or whatever make sure that's a little straight there there we go and that'll be good for you know what I needed to be good for I guess yeah. let's see what time is it 12.50 o'clock mm. you guys see that 12.50 so no it ain't damn it it's 110 hmm. see 110 111 Jesus just pick one it's after midnight so anyway I'm gonna finish my beer and have another cigarette I think she's still working on her project aren't you monk yeah yeah monkey's still working on her project and like I said tomorrow I gotta go now mm. Go get a bearing. Pretty common bearing. I should be able to find that at a parts store. But I thought, well, she was going to be out in that direction, you know. Now I used to work there. I'll support them. Not now. I mean, think about it. I could see you maybe getting one wrong part when you reach in the bin. You grab two. And, but damn. One, one, one part is the right part out of four. And I'm totally going to ask him and we'll say, damn, Johnny, what the hell are you guys now? AutoZone, you know? I mean, you never get the right... $31. One part will work. That's that's bullshit. That's unacceptable. So, you know, yeah, Freedom Park Trailers, get your fucking act together. Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. You know, I worked there. That shit didn't fucking happen, you know? No. Nope. When it did, somebody got their ass to you because I didn't play that game. That shit shouldn't happen like that. I can, like I said, one out of four parts. Okay, I can see that. We'll get one later. Because the other that that other seal's for the other side. Because the bearings are fine. I just need a seal. It's leaking out the back. So I thought, you know, I'll do that later. We just want to get the boat out, make sure it don't leak, and make sure everything's good to go on the boat. Now, first thing in the morning, you know, I got to go rouse this up and find me a damn bearing and. You know, when it should have been ready to go tomorrow morning. After she finds the damn life vest. Yeah. And I got to put a... <laughs> That's going to be a chore. I put the license plate on it and then the sticker. But but we're ready to go, so... Yep. Uh, well, we know where the life vests are. Yeah, we just have to dig for them. In the she shed. just has to dig for them in the shed. So. It could be a weed with that. No, I got other things to do. Well, when you do that, I'll look for it. Yeah. So, because when this is done, we're rolling. Yay! I can't wait. <laughs> She's I'm ready, excited. I'm ready. She's been ready since we sold the other boat. Uh huh. We wouldn't have sold it, but we kind of had to, you know. That's when I what just got just stopped Diagnosed. working. Yeah, I just got. Well, I was off work because of my COPD. And I had pneumonia, bronchial pneumonia. Uh -huh. It was like, you know, no, you ain't going back to work. Yeah. So, you know, time started getting tough there. You know, I wasn't making any m money on YouTube. I don't, still don't make a lot, but it helps. it helps now. But, so, you know, we had to sell the boat. So, but our other boat, the Ginu, I had, we had like $450 in it with the, the trailer, the boat, the motor, um and then the guy I bought the boat from he gave me a 35 horsepower mercury motor that he he knew nothing about and i thought well yeah i'll take it to be all right for parts you know i'll get what good parts off of it i can it sat out here for over a year wasn't it yeah year and a half almost two years it sat all back here it was mm -hmm. sunk in the into the sand and i went to pull it out because I thought, well, I'm going to pull this out, yank some parts off of it, you know, and when I, the prop turned, which I seen the, uh, the flywheel turn, I was like, well, this thing ain't locked up. So I put it on a, on a sawhorse out here and I told her, I said, I'll bet you I can get this thing running. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, man, all I did 
was pull the spark plugs out and I pulled it and it had spark so I squirted some fuel in the cylinders and some in the carburetors and um, pulled it one time that thing fired right up yeah so I ended up selling it for 350 bucks wasn't it yeah something like yeah that. 350 bucks and so and we sold the boat for five so I still came out what we had 900 mm -hmm. so let's see that's 900 dollars worth we sold the boat for five so we still still made 50 on the boat and then on the free motor so we, we ended up making 400 dollars off that boat yeah <laughs> so because I gave a hundred dollars for the boat I gave 180 for the trailer and yeah we did really well <laughs> and that's yeah. that boat but I'm glad we got this yeah. one now this will be fun yeah it'll be fun should be so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it check out monkey 1000's channel she's okay um really yeah really you are just okay <laughs> she's awesome i always she knows always uh always put a plug in for her channel so check her out too she just happened to be doing her she's waiting on some of her, her stuff to dry yeah this is a long process yeah this is a long project it's yeah it's not so, a fast project so no so anyway she was so she was going to be up late anyway and she asked me if I was going to do my late night thing. I said, yeah. She said, you want me to help? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do. First time I asked to help because I'm usually asleep by now. Because I ask her every time, you want to be in my movie? No. I'm usually rolling over going to sleep. Yeah, because you know, I always say, well, everybody's in bed asleep. The dog's asleep, the cat's asleep. This time she's up, so she wanted to join in. I said, That's sure. That's because I had a nap. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I usually try to take a nap, too. I had a nap so yeah. when I do these late night ones. So okay. anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and um, stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to have some videos of the boat, right? Yay! Yay. First thing i got to do is check make sure the trolling motor works because we only yeah. have one oar. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get out in the middle of that lake and have to row that boat back with one oar. No, we need another one. Yeah, so anyway guys, thanks for watching Shea Bear the Myth Man Legend. Monkey Sushi out for now, y'all. We're gone for now. Bye-bye guys. Take care, have a good one, and be safe.